everyone, welcome back. I'm Dai, and today I am bringing you my first impressions of Yakuza Lover. This one is by Nozomi Mino and is published by Viz Rated Mature. I was actually given an advanced reader copy through Edelweiss from Viz, so thank you to both Viz and Edelweiss for providing me with that. In no way, shape, or form does that have any impact on my thoughts or opinions about this volume, just so you know. I actually received the approval for the advanced readers copy after I had already purchased the volume myself. So that is why I have this for you here. In this story, we meet Yuri and she is at a club party looking for a boyfriend. She actually says she's only there to look for a boyfriend and she's not impressed with anybody that is there at the time. So her and her friend are trying to find the way out and accidentally walk in on a drug party. Now Yuri can stand on her own a bit. She's a bit spunky and when the people at the drug party try to restrain her and make her an accomplice basically because she saw the drugs, she stands up to them. And as she is wondering how she's going to get herself out of this situation, in walks in Toshiomi Oya. He is a Yakuza underboss and he checks on her and makes sure she's okay. And he was actually very intrigued by some of the things he heard her say outside of the door and basically tells her, look, if you have any other problems, here's my card, show them my card and you should be fine. So after that chance encounter, Yuri finds herself not being able to stop thinking about Oya and it just so happens that after the encounter at the club, he had actually given her his coat and even though he told her that she didn't have to return it, she decides that she's going to do that because she wants to see him again. And so she seeks him out and he's delighted to see her because he was intrigued with her as well as I had mentioned. And then they chat a bit, get to know each other a little bit, and then Yuri gets a front row seat to the dangers of Oya's occupation. She starts to wonder if having a relationship with Oya is going to be something that she can handle and eventually decides that it is and so they decide to form a relationship with each other and so this first volume kind of follows her not only meeting Oya, deciding whether or not she wants to have a relationship with him but it also follows them getting into that relationship and following them through their like early days. So when I got this volume, it was wrapped in plastic. I was very surprised. I don't think I've ever seen a volume from Viz that has been wrapped in plastic. But it is wrapped in plastic for a good reason. This volume does have explicit material inside and of course it is rated mature. And while I did enjoy this volume, I kind of feel like I need a little bit more. Yuri and Oya's relationship is very physical um, in this volume to say the least and they haven't really gotten to know each other a lot yet so I'm looking forward to both of them finding out more about each other, growing as a couple. I'm sure there's going to be more times when Yuri has that first and look at the dangers of Oya's occupation and maybe we'll see if she kind of second guesses her decision about being with him but like I said I still did enjoy this volume and I am looking forward to reading more of it when it's available something that intrigued me a lot about this volume was the mangaka's art style I found it to be very interesting she has a way of drawing eyes that just makes you think that you can see a reflection in them. It's not that you can actually see a reflection in them, at least I don't see a reflection, but I did spend a good amount of time looking at the eyes and trying to see if there was actually a reflection in them. It's not a style of drawing that I've seen before as far as the eyes go. 
it's very different from how I've seen eyes portrayed in other mangas that I've read. Also, because Yuri is a little <laughs> quirky, there are definite scenes of comedy in this volume and the way the mangaka portrays her, like when she's shocked or when she is super embarrassed thinking about things. It's very, very different to the way that the rest of the scenes are. It definitely portrays that comedic feel. And I did chuckle a bit because sometimes the way she draws Yuri is just hilarious. So that pretty much wraps up my thoughts on this first volume. Let me know down in the comments below if this is going to be a series that you're going to check out. Thank you again to Viz and Edelweiss for providing me with an advanced reader's copy. I really, really appreciate it. If you've made it to this point of the video, if you could leave me an emoji with glasses down in the comments below, that would be greatly appreciated and would really help me out. And that will do it for me today. So I hope you're all doing great. I hope you're all safe and healthy. And until next time, take care and smile always. Bye.